Are you eyeing the Space Marines for your collection but cannot decide which chapter to rally behind? Or perhaps you are simply looking to untangle the web of Space Marine chapters out there? Worry not, in this episode of Beyond the Bolter we're going to blaze through the lore of all major Space Marine chapters in just over 5 minutes. Grab your bolt gun and let's get started. Ultramarines, hailing from McCrag, are the archetypal Space Marines guided by the Codex Astartes, a tome of military wisdom penned by their Primarch Rebute Gilliman. They are tactical geniuses, strict and disciplined. Gilliman himself has returned in the 41st millennium, serving as the Lord Commander of the Imperium and as a beacon of hope. Marnius Kalgar is another prominent figure, having served as a chapter master for centuries, defending the realm of Ultramar against countless threats. The Ultramarines are also notable for their Ultramar auxilia, human forces who fight alongside them and their role in rebuilding the Imperium. The Blood Angels, based on Baal, are a study in contrast. They are renowned for their angelic visage, but in battle they fight with a terrifying bloodlust due to their genetic flaw known as the Red Thirst. Their heritage is also tinged with sorrow due to the sacrifice of their Primarch Sanguinius. The Chapter Master Dante is among the oldest living Space Marines revered across the Imperium. They are also known for the Death Company, battle brothers consumed by the Black Rage who seek redemption and glory combat fighting with unmatched fury. Dark Angels, enigmatic and shadowed in secrecy, are based on the mobile fortress monastery called the Rock. They are among the most stoic of the Adeptus Astartes, known for their relentless pursuit of the fallen, their brethren who turned traitor during the Horus Heresy, or so they tell us. Their arsenal includes the ancient and rare plasma weaponry. Azrael, the current Supreme Grandmaster, leads with a resolve to redeem their chapter's past. The chapter operates in an unusually secretive manner, with an inner circle guarding their secrets and the death wing and raven wing companies being especially prominent in their operations. The Space Souls hail from the icy world of Fenris, their culture is heavily influenced by Norse mythology, with a strong focus on brotherhood and valor. They are known for their fierce and almost feral fighting style, often employing mighty wolves in battle. The Primarch Lehman Russ is akin to a mythic figure, a warrior king of old. The Space Souls are notorious for their disdain for the Codex Astartes and are often seen as wild and insubordinate. Characters like Logan Grimnar, the Great Wolf, and Bjorn the Fel handed a venerated dreadnought embody their unyielding spirit. Imperial Fist specialists in siege warfare and defense are stoic and unyielding. They hail from Terra and are closely associated with the defense of the Imperium's heart. Their primary Rogel Dorn was instrumental in building the Imperial Palace's defenses. Imperial Fists are known for their use of heavy weapons and bolstering fortifications. Captain Lysander is a legendary figure renowned for his staunch resolve and for wielding the Fist of Dorn, a mighty thunderhammer that can shatter the strongest fortifications. Black Templars are zealous and dedicated to a never-ending crusade to rid the galaxy of the enemies of mankind. They are known for their unrelenting zeal and strict adherence to the tenets of their faith. Black Templars eschew the use of psychic abilities and are often seen leading the charge in close quarters combat. High Marshal Halbrecht is their current leader and a symbol of their undying zeal. This chapter operates crusader squads and is known for taking oaths before battle, believing their faith is a shield against all evils. The Salamanders are a chapter with a strong affinity for fire and forges, calling the volcanic world of Nocturne home. They are skilled artisans, crafting their war gear with meticulous care. Unlike many chapters, the Salamanders are also known for their compassion towards Imperium citizens. Their Primarch Vulcan is a figure of legends, imbued with incredible regenerative abilities. Their chapter is known for their devastating melt to weapons and flamecraft. Their current leader, Tushan, continues to embody the enduring humanitarian values of the chapter. White Scars, nomadic and free-spirited, hail from Chagoris. They are expert riders and specialize in lightning-fast hit-and-run attacks. Inspired by Mongolian culture, they have a love for open spaces and freedom. The Primarch Jagatai Khan was a master of fast warfare and his spirit lives on in the White Scars as they ride into battle on their bikes, brandishing chainswords and bolters. White Scars are also known for their storm seers, psychers who can bend the elements to their will. The Grey Knights are a secretive chapter of Space Marines specializing in combating demons and the forces of chaos. Stationed on the Moon Titan, they are a part of the Order Malleus of the Inquisition. Every Grey Knight is a psyker and they employ their psychic abilities in battle to banish demons. The mysterious and heroic Calder Drago is a notable figure among the Grey Knights, having carved his legend in the warp where he continues to battle demons. 
Death Watch, the chamber militant of the Order Xenos, are the alien hunting specialists among the Space Marines. Comprised of veterans drawn from various chapters, they are equipped with special ammunition and war gear specifically designed to combat the myriad alien races of the galaxy. Stationed in watch fortresses across the galaxy, the Death Watch stands vigilant, ready to spearhead the fight against Xenos threats. Notable among them is Watch Captain Artemis, a stern and unyielding warrior embodying the Death Watch's indomitable spirit in the face of the unknown. Forging ahead, we have the Iron Hands, whose conviction in the frailty of flesh leads them to embrace cybernetics. Hailing from Medusa, they are as resilient as the steel they venerate. Their Primarch Ferris Manus was renowned for his literal Iron Hands, which became symbolic of the chapter's ethos. The Iron Hands are austere and cold, seeking perfection through the fusion of man and machine. They often replace limbs with bionics and revere the Adeptus Mechanicus. A central figure is the Iron Father Pharos of Clan Rao Khan, with his formidable servo harness exemplifying the chapter's melding of flesh and steel. Finally, we have the Raven Guard. Specializing in guerrilla warfare, the Raven Guard are masters of ambush and hit and run tactics. From the shadows, they strike precisely where the enemy is weakest. The primary Corvus Corax imbued them with his love for freedom and distaste for oppression. They prefer stealth, cunning, and precision over brute force. Based on deliverance, they maintain an aloof demeanor and are often seen as enigmatic. Their emblem, a black raven, is a symbol of their affinity for the shadows. Let me know in the comment section if you like this episode and if you do, I'll make more of these. I'll see you next time.